crucial aspect you probably know but I keep my friends close like family they're not selected because they're cool and we get along and we're in circles together they're because they're people that play a part in my life and will continue to play a part in my life for the you know for the rest of the time so I'm cool with one friend I'm cool with five six but they have to qualify for those things before all else and it doesn't matter if I'm popular guy or not popular, but to have that core friendship group is the only thing I need in life to support myself and keep me mentally healthy. And so you guys have been that and those pillars. And uh, so thank you. And it's it's really, for me, it's like share. you know, I know it's my wedding day, but I've been to a lot of your guys' weddings and we have those coming up. And it's, it's almost like a shared day doesn't feel like it's my wedding day all eyes on Jake it feels like it's you know the boys we're having we're having another thing to celebrate so um cheers to you guys and keep doing cheers to you everything cheers to you, man. you do cheers. 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 just don't tell Seth that yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is her wedding day <laughs> right right don't tell her it's right, right. Okay. <laughs> Tissue! 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 The most gorgeous bride I've ever seen! Thank you! 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 Thank you
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't. Yeah, it's okay. You're okay. Both of you look up. You're okay. Okay. Sorry. I knew that. It's okay. It's okay. Look. We're doing it. We're doing it. Finally, look. It's on. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. It's everything I've ever. I, it's good. Don't cry. It's gorgeous. You have a long day ahead. We gotta go okay. party, okay? We gotta go party. Yes. <laughs> Get me a husband and party. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I love this dress on you. It's so Thank beautiful. You. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh, you're so tiny. And you're, you're so tiny. Tan looks bad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. You ready? This Let's go do it. Right. You picked the right. I know. Okay, let's not cry. We're gonna ruin all our makeup. It's so, no, no. It's like ugly crying. Like, I know, it's ugly cry. Okay. okay. Angel Dove, today and every day, I wake up with a smile on my face, then lean over and say good morning. No matter the dream or how stressful things in life are, I get to wake up every morning knowing everything is really perfect. I've always been a morning person. At a very young age, I used to wake my parents up every morning at 4 a.m. just because I was so excited to start my day. Since I've met you, I cannot wait to wake up and start my day with you. I'm so excited every morning to share life with you. Life is so much more full than it was the previous day. I was always taught that the formula in life is simply happiness. I've found happiness in many things that have really let me enjoy life, but I didn't realize what true happiness was until I met you. You have unlocked a whole new level of happiness. You are my happiness. I love you with everything I have. I love how you can be so humble, yet so confident at the same time. I love how you are classy. I love how you are so caring and thoughtful. The joy and love you give me is so immense that I'm forever in your debt. I feel it cannot be matched or repaid by mere promises or words, but at a minimum, I'll try. I vow to always be your sense of calm. I vow to always protect you. I vow to always put you and family first. I vow to support you. I vow to listen. I vow to always strive to preserve your happiness. And I vow to love you unconditionally. Oh, Jakey, where do I start? I guess I'll backtrack to 2018 when I had been single for some time and for some reason was lo desperately looking for love in all the wrong places. I remember the day we started texting vividly because we ended up getting drinks last minute, a day prior to me heading to New York for New Year's Eve, and I am not someone who spontaneously commits to plans the day of. I remember seeing that picture of you holding a fish and I simply couldn't resist. I had a type and you were, well, you are it. What I couldn't wait to find out was how it was going to be in person. You had just moved to Arlington from DC and somehow I convinced you to pick a date spot just about the farthest point away from where we both lived at the time on the other side of DC. You were such a good sport about hiking all that way despite us living a few streets apart. When I left for New York, I wasn't quite sure if the feelings were mutual, but standing here today, I am eternally grateful that they were. Since that cold, fateful day in December of 2018, you have taught me that love and companionship is so much more than quality time and being physically glued together on the couch, but it is learning how to dance in the rain and selflessly putting the other before our own selves. If I had enough time to share all the things you do for us and why I love you, we'd be here for the rest of the year. I will try to keep this brief so that we can get to partying. You are the one who cooks us almost every meal every single night and you always let me pick what's for dinner because I am the one with crazy food inversions. You graciously clean the dishes because the idea of raw chicken in the sink sets me over the edge. You always patiently stay on the phone with me while I am driving in adverse weather conditions because I'm petrified of driving in anything aside from the sunshine. You're the only person who can pull me out of my comfort zone. For example, that time we went to Tulum and jumped in a 150 foot deep cenote, which was the deepest and scariest body of water I've ever submerged myself in. Yet I do it over a hundred times again, only because it's with you. The day I knew you were the one was when you were the first and only guy who didn't say they hated cats. And somehow 
you learn to love them just as much as I do, I think. And I love when you ask me when we will get our own kitty. My promise is one day soon because you will be the most remarkable cat dad serving up canned tuna for dinner and catnip for dessert because we all know how important dessert is in our own home. Thank you for choosing me, for loving me for all that I am, for giving us the life that is what I call a dream come true. I vow to love you each and every day with my whole heart and I look forward to spending the rest of our days laughing and loving each other unconditionally. I promise to support your dreams, your adventurous hobbies, to celebrate all of your achievements and to hold your hand when things get tough or even the happiest of times. I look forward to creating a future that is nothing what we expect, but everything that we dream of. I love you to infinity and beyond. Should we try to spin? Yes. Oh my gosh. This dress is, you are a You look so beautiful. You look so good. So handsome. This little bow tie. Oh, look at you. Love the shoes. Yes. Your this turned out amazing. Thank you. Nice chilly day for us. It's perfect. It's so perfect. It's are you excited? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Yes, I'm Thank you. <laughs> on your eyelashes. Thank you. Yeah. How was your morning? It's good. How was yours? Missed you. I missed you too. I'm glad we got coffee though. I know. <laughs> you believe what's happening? Let's do it. Love you. Love you. Love you. Let's do it. This dress is on a real. Thank you. Wow. I know.
So first of all, this is um, the ketubah, and um, which which we worked on a lot <laughs> to make sure we got it right. We did. We did. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, in just a few moments, I'm going to ask our witnesses to sign. They'll sign here and here. Um, if you're able to sign in Hebrew, that's great, and or in English. And then you guys will sign here, the bride and the groom and the rabbi. Okay. So the ketubah comes from the word lichtov, which means to write. And so it's a written document, which probably is, is one of the oldest, if not the oldest document that still is in use. Um, it goes back to the time of the Talmud, a couple thousand years. It's not mentioned in the Bible. But what it is uh, is the, um, the, the commitment you make to each other and the promises you make to each other. And so th this is the traditional language in here. And then down here are, is, is an English rendition of what this means to each of you. So what we're gonna do in just a moment is to sign it. And <clears throat> you're, you're still not actually married until we're under the chuppah and you, you, you exchange the rings. Because a lot of times people say, oh, now you're married, okay. and, but, but you're not. So you still have an escape clause, I want you to know. That's what that means. Okay. I was wondering about that. <laughs> Um, but with the traffic, what it is, I don't think you're getting too far. Yeah. So anyway, um, so with that, I'm going to invite our witnesses, to, if they would be so kind, as to okay. sign first. Could we turn it this way? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yes. So here, yes. you're Felix. So if you'll sign. Which side? Which side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one or this side? Yeah, so either one. Are you going to do Hebrew or in English or just uh, English? Which way? You you're going up here. <laughs> up here, the you first line. Yiddish too or not? Vesmachta, uh, why not? Sure. Okay. Oh, you this way? Okay. Yeah, yeah, wherever you want. Okay. If it's easier for you to do the second line, do the second line, much yeah, easier. Right. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the easier. Beautiful, beautiful. And now I'd like you to sign um, in, in English on the same line. Can you sign in English? English, yeah. English, and your printed name. Yeah, or, or sign, your sign, sign. sign. Yeah, your signature. A little bit lower, a little bit lower, right where it says aid, aid. Yeah. Not printing, just printing. Yeah. No, no, signing, printing. signing, like you would sign a check. Yep. In fact, I have one here. No. You can sign, like a check. How would you sign a check? That's great. <laughs> That's very funny. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. That's so Thank lovely. You, Thanks right. so much. Alex. All right. Okay. okay. And now. Hebrew, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So start over here. If you can. In the Hebrew. Do not expect. Okay. This is. Hey, I didn't know you got pros here. You know, I'm uh, very impressed. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I can't do Hebrew. That's all right. Okay. Good. 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 All right. That's crazy. Okay, so next is the bride. Why don't you sign right in the middle right there, Stan. Okay. Signature? Uh-huh. My maiden name or my... Your maiden name. Yeah. You'll use that at this time. And then there, going forward, okay. your married name. The last time you signed your maiden name. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And then, Jake, why don't you do it so it's a little over here, you know, so it's lined up a little bit. Under hers, on the groom. So, so on, you're the yeah. groom. Yes, I'm glad you knew that. Yeah, okay. Just gotta but, ask. but, but yeah, just a little bit. You know, why don't you go over here, sure. and then I'll be able to kind of yeah. settle more in the middle. So, in this line, the second line, chatan. Yes. Remember, I mentioned you guys. You are the chatan. You are the kala. I'll be using those words during the ceremony. And whenever I do, I'm talking about you guys. Okay. And now I sign. Okay. I think of this like big lines. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now we still have one or two other things to do, and that is so now we've signed the ketubah, but Talmud tells us you have to actually acquire it to accept it. And that's why I needed this napkin. So each of you are going to hold on to an end of the napkin. Hold it up, hold it up, okay? And then on the count of three, you'll let it drop into my hand. So hold it up a little bit higher. And that then shows that you both are accepting the terms of the ketubah. Okay, one, 
two, three, kilometers. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So with that, we've now signed the ketubah. It's official. Again, they're not yet married, but we can still nevertheless sing Simin Tovo, Mazel Tovo, Mazel Tovo, Simin Tovo, Simin Tovo, Mazel Tovo, Mazel Tovo, Simin Tovo, Simin Tovo, Mazel Tovo, Mazel Tovo, Simin Tovo, Yehelanu, 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 Kulecho Yisrael, Yehelanu, Yehelanu. Hulecho Yisrael, Yehelanu, Yehelanu, Hulecho Yisrael, Yehelanu, Yehelanu, Hulecho Yisrael. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Okay, good.
Jake and Stephanie, first of all, I have to compliment you on a dramatic entrance. <laughs> and we greet you with the words, Bruchim Habeim B'Shem Adonai. Blessed are each of you who come today in the name of the Lord. Come before the Lord with all the rejoicing, all the happiness that you feel in your hearts at this time. May the one who is supreme in power, blessing and glory, bless this chatan and this kala, this groom and this bride, as together you stand here underneath of this kupa, as you're about to be married with the sacred words of our tradition. So I invite you, Jake, to put on the talit at this time. Okay. Tell us. And we ask your God for your blessing. For you, O oh God, are the source of all holiness. Help this couple to see the sacred dimension of all life. We ask that you guide Stephanie and Jake to the realization of sanctity and devotion that they feel for each other every day as today. Help them to renew their love continually each and every day, just as you, O oh God, renew creation each and every day. We pray, dear God, that their love for each other may reflect your love of all people Throughout the years, may they hallow their life together so that the home they come to establish shall be, a, shall be a blessing for them, to all who know them, and to all of Israel. May your light illumine their lives as they begin their life together. Let us say amen. Okay, turn towards me. Okay. Lifting up this cup of wine, we pray. Baruch atadunai Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivano ahaarayot, v'saa lanu et ha'arusot, lanu v'hitir lanu et ha'nesuot, lanu, al yedei chupa v'kidushin. Baruch atah Adonai, mekadesh amo Yisrael, al yedei chupa v'kidushin. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who adds mitzvot and brings holiness into our lives. Praised are you, O God, who sanctifies your people Israel, through the sacred marriage ceremony of the Chuppah and Kiddushin and our wedding traditions. As I always like to point out, this represents the cup of life which you now share together. And wine represents the joy and the happiness that we feel, that you will feel. And so, as you share from this cup of wine, so too may all of life's joys be heightened because of the fact that you share it together. And conversely, wine sometimes does have a touch of bitterness to it. Not this wine, but some wine does. This is Moscato. It's the sweetest you can get. <laughs> but for that wine, which does have a touch of bitterness, as is sometimes life has a touch of bitterness, may it be that much easier to confront because you share it together as well. And so it is in that spirit that I now ask, do you, Jake, take Stephanie to be your wife, promising to love, cherish, and protect her, whether in good fortune or in adversity, and to seek together with her a life hallowed by the faith of Israel? I do. And Stephanie, do you take Jake to be your husband, promising to love, cherish, and protect him, whether in good fortune or in adversity, and to seek together with him a life hallowed by the faith of Israel? I do. Inasmuch as you've made that commitment to each other, we come now to the part of our ceremony when you're going to exchange rings. And so I invite Jesse to come forward. The ring, Jake, which you're going to place on Stephanie's finger is an unending circle, representing the fact that the love that you have for each other is unending, it's infinite, without any beginning, without any end. And as you do, place this on the finger of your beloved and repeat the words after me, which are hallowed by our tradition. Hare. Hare. At. At. Mekudeshet. Mekudeshet. Li. Li. Bitabaat. Bitabaat. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Yisrael. The Yisrael. With this ring. With this ring. Be thou consecrated. Be thou consecrated. Unto me. Unto me. As my wife. As my wife. According to the laws of Moses. 
According to the laws of Moses. And the faith of Israel. And the faith of Israel. And now, Stephanie, as you bestow this ring upon, your, upon the finger of your beloved, repeat the words after me, which are found in Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs, the love poetry from the Bible. And those words are, Ani, Ani, Lidodi, Lidodi, Vidodi, Vidodi, Li, Li, I, I, and my beloveds, and my beloveds, as my beloved, as my beloved, is mine. Is mine. Just before the ceremony, we had the chance to sign this, and you were signed by uh, witnesses Adim as well, which is the ketubah. The ketubah, which represents the, the very pledges, the commitments you make to each other. In fact, the word in Hebrew for commitment comes from the word chova, which is the same root of the word chiba, which means love. And so out of that, there's a message that our rabbis teach us, and that is out of the commitments, the obligations you make to each other, that's where we find true love. And so I'll read part of it in the original Aramaic and then a rendition of the English. It says in part, Greenhouse, Yeta Lea Chava Bat Shen Liba Le Mishpachat Lions Heveli Le Intu Kedat Moshe Ve Yisrael Ba'ana Aflik Ve Okir Ve Izun Ve Afarneis Yitiche Liche Ke Hochot Govrin Yehudin And it reads in part On this the sixth day of the week The fifth day of the month of Tishrei In the year 5783 Corresponding to the 30th day of September 2022 In Washington D.C. In the presence of beloved family and friends, and in accordance with the laws of Moses and the people of Israel, we, the bride, Stephanie Nicole Lyons, daughter of Linda and Kerry, and the groom Jacob Adam Greenhouse, son of Allison and Richard, stand under the chuppah and enter into this covenant of marriage with each other. We proclaim our commitment to treasure and respect each other as we journey through life, becoming the persons we are yet to be, we will rejoice with each other in happiness and loyal support each, loyally support each other throughout our lives. We will establish a loving home filled with the light of Torah, blessed with wisdom and with reverence for learning, a home devoted to Jewish tradition and celebration, and joined closely to the community of Israel. This sacred covenant is valid and binding. So this ketubah, which is so beautiful, shall become one of the first heirlooms that you possess, and as such, it reminds us and should always remind you of this special moment. So when you look at it, remember, remember this day. For we come now to the second part of our wedding ceremony. We drank, that's why we drink two cups. As I mentioned when we spoke, at one time the ceremonies were separated. And so there are two different names for the wedding ceremony. One is Nisuin and one is Kiddushin. And they both have significance because Nisuin means to lift up and you each lift each other up, making each other better. And Kedushin, the second part that we come to now, represents the holiness and the sacredness of this very moment with the reciting of the Sheva Brachot, conferring blessing on each and every day of the week so that each and every day may be blessed and special. As we invite all of you who are here to respond, amen, to each of the blessings. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech ha'olam, bore puri ha'gafen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, shako bara likvodo. That was, that was a cue. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, yotzer ha'adam. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher yotzer et ha'adam, betzamo, betzelem demut tavnito, vikinlo mimeno binyan adayan, baruch ata Adonai, yotzer ha'adam. Amen. Sostasis vitagel ha akara be kibutz baneha letocha, besimcha, baruch atadonai, mesamech tzion, bevaneha. Samech te samech rehium ahuvim, kesamech ha yetzecha, begun enemy kedem, baruch atadonai, mesamech, chatan vikala. Baruch atadonai, Elohenu melacha olam, ashebara, sasson vesimcha, 
חתן וכלה. גילה רינה דהיצה וחדווה, אהבה ואחווה ושלום ורעות. מהרה אדוני אלוהינו, יישמע בערי יהודה ובחוצות ירושלים. כל ששון וכל שמחה, כל חתן וכל קהלה, כל מצלות חתונים מחופתם, ונערים ממשתה נגינתם. ברוך אתה אדוני, משמח, חתן עם הכלה. Praise to you, O Lord our God, who rules the universe, who's created the fruit of the vine, whose glory is evident in all of creation, who created man and woman in the divine image, so that together they may perpetuate life. Praise to you, O Lord, creator of man and woman. May Zion rejoice with her children. As we ask your God, grab perfect joy to these loving companions, as you did to the very first man and woman in the Garden of Eden. Praise to you, Adonai, who creates the joy of the bride and the groom. You, O God, rule the universe. You created joy and gladness, the bride and groom, pleasure, song, delight and laughter, love and harmony, peace and companionship. And so we pray, may there always be heard in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, the voices of joy and gladness, of happiness, of the bride and the groom, the jubilant voices of those joined in marriage under the chuppah, the voices of young people feasting and singing. Praised are you, O Lord, who causes the groom and the bride to rejoice together. Where's the Kiddush? I thought it was yours. <laughs> For your bar <laughs> Wow. Just noticing the Kiddush cup, which comes from your bar mitzvah, and we were talking about the fact that the talus that you're wearing, Jake, comes from your bar mitzvah as well. And so, as we stand here together, it's a special joy for me to be able to share this moment with you and your family. Indeed, we've shared so many special moments over the years, and your parents are such dear friends. Dad being one of my best Torah scholar students. You can pay me later. But has always been so giving and generous with his time and effort, and your mom being so loving and supporting supportive. I know the family you come from, Jake. It's a family that is filled with love. And so, Stephanie, you're very fortunate to be able to enter into this family. And Stephanie getting to meet you and to know you, as well as your mom, your dad, your family as well, and what you've shared with me about them. I know that those same values are so important to you as well. It's so beautiful that you have found each other, that you have been touched by love's magic wand. Indeed. To be, and also through the luck of an app. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> That's right. Swipe right? Am I? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. And thank God you did because here you are, you found each other just those couple of years ago. And I know when we spoke, you mentioned how actually Jake had such a busy schedule at the time um, with all of your ski trips and other things and other adventures. But somehow, even as you were away, you were thinking about this special woman that you had met. And you knew, you knew somehow that something great was going to happen. And Stephanie, you also knew that something was special about this guy. Indeed, knowing Jake as I have over these years, his gentleness and his sweetness, his goodness and kindness all come through. And it's so very apparent that in you he sees a mirror. Many of those very same qualities of goodness and sweetness and kindness as well. I want to comment on the fact that this period of time right now, when we're between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we're in the month of Tishrei, which is the seventh month of the year. <clears throat> but these special days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur have a special name. They are called Aseret Yamei Teshuvah, which means the 10 days of Teshuvah. Now, Teshuvah is a very important concept. Teshuvah is translated as repentance, it's retranslated as return. It means much more than that. In fact, teshuva is a time when, if there are any things, any things for which we ever want to ask forgiveness for, it's a time to seek out those we may have wronged, to ask forgiveness, to apologize. And so in that context, Jake, I want to suggest that you get a head start and just start apologizing now. <laughs> yeah. For all things, you know, whatever's going to happen, it happens in married life. And uh, you'll be ahead of the game because it's Aseret Yemei Tshuva. 
But in all seriousness, it's a very special time. It's a time in which we celebrate the birth of the world. It's a time in which we celebrate the creation of life itself. And our tradition tells us that at this very moment, a new life is being created, and that is your life together. Stephanie, as you began the ceremony circling your beloved, it's also showing the fact that you are beginning that new life together now, a time of fresh beginnings, a time to celebrate your love. And that's what today is all about as well. There's a beautiful passage from Shir HaShirim, the Song of Songs, which I want to share at this time. For it says, Ana Dodiva Amali, my beloved speaks and says to me, Kumilah Rayati, Yafati Ulechilah, arise my love, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear again upon the earth, and the time of singing has come. The voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom, giving forth of their fragrance. Kumilah rayati yafati ulechilah. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. O oh, my dove, in the cliffs of the rock, in the covert of the cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. Those words seem to be so appropriate because Indeed, you have found a beautiful bride, Jacob. But not just at the external physical beauty, but the beauty inside. And for you, Stephanie, you found a very handsome and charming young man as well. Not just on the outside, but on the inside. And at the end of the day, that's what counts the most. What you found in each other, in the inner souls of your heart. And so for this very special moment, which is so sweet, we're ever grateful unto you, O God. We hope and pray that when you speak with each other, you may always know the joy of companionship, how you've been a support to each other, how you will be for each other in good times and bad. And may you always, be remem may you always remember this moment so that when you see each other, may your eyes be filled with wonder and appreciation at the miracle of your love throughout your lives. May your love continue to grow so that you will always know God's blessings rest upon you in your hearts and in your lives as well. And so we pray, dear God, as a source of all joy, that in loving each other, may this couple appreciate how much they are alike and may they treasure that which is different. May they share their lives together. May they know peace and serenity and security in their home. In living together, may they achieve the warmth and companionship that they both seek and deserve the love of family and friends in realizing their fondest hopes. And so, as you have now spoken the words and acting out of love and affection for each other in accordance with the laws of this District of Columbia and of the Holy of our Torah, I pronounce you, Jake and Stephanie, to be husband and wife, asking God's blessing to rest upon both of you. And so, you can turn towards me, and then Jake, take your talus if you can get closer. So take the talus, it kind of goes around both of you a little bit. And for me, it's such a joy because the words I'm about to recite of the Birkat Konim, I said it's your bar mitzvah. And at the time, who knew that we would be standing here just these couple of years later, sharing this special moment, asking God's blessing to rest now, not just upon you, but upon you and your beloved. And so, Stephanie, at this very sacred moment, we ask for both of you God's blessing. And so we pray. May the Lord bless you, and may he watch over you. May the Lord let his countenance shine upon you, and may he be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. May he grant you peace, health, happiness, and fulfillment all the days of your life. And let us say, Amen. Amen. At the very end of our ceremony, we've talked about the significance of the suin lifting up of Kiddushin, of the sacredness of this moment and of your relationship. And so we break a glass. And as I think I mentioned to you, the significance of the breaking of the glass, uh, there are many explanations which are given, including the fact that when it becomes shattered, it cannot be put together again because the bond that you make together now shall also be eternal as well. But the most common reference is, of course, to the loss of the temple, the Beit Mikdash in Jerusalem. And so we mourn and we remember that. But even more importantly, as I explained to couples, that is that now 
it's incumbent upon you, the two of you, to take the Kedusha, the holiness of this moment, of this ceremony that you feel for each other and carry it with you to create the Mikdash Ma'at, your home which will become a place of holiness, a place of love, a place of blessing. For knowing you as I do, I am fully confident that it will be such a place. And so with that, I give you the... No, you can leave it on because I can break it right now and then take it off right after it. <laughs> Go for it. Mazel <laughs> Tov!
Please join me in welcoming our couple, Mr. and Mrs. Jake and Stephanie Greenhouse. I'd like to invite the groom to grab his mother and come on out. If we can have Jake and his mom make their way out for a mother-son dance. And they are going to share a special dance to I Hope You Dance by Leanne Womack. Sense of what? 
it. Walk like a man, talk like a man, walk like a man, my son. No woman's world crawling on the earth. So walk like a man, my son. Walk, 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 walk. walk. How about one more nice round of applause for them? Very nice. My beautiful Stephanie Nicole, your special day is finally here. In my heart, I know you made the right decision with Jake. You will always be my little girl, even though you are a beautiful bride today. I wish you and Jake all the happiness in your marriage together. I love you more, Mom. Congratulations. Mazel tov. <laughs> okay, the first words say hello and welcome. No. I want to welcome everybody here. I'm so glad to see all of you, and it's so wonderful to all be together again. Yeah. Uh, and for the new family, I welcome this new family like they've been my family, and we are just so excited to have expanded our group and our, our family with all of you. Okay, so this is a really special day. But for those of you that know our son, okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, I don't think so. Yeah, for those of you that know our Jakey, our son Jakey, I'm going to call him Jakey because I can right now. I was always, always so worried that he would get hurt. But not by a girl. <laughs> No, no, not by a girl. Uh-uh. Physically hurt. Okay? I'm, I'm not fragile. No, but you are fearless, honey. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, I, I was always worried about that. But, oh, not by a girl because I never thought about the kind of girl that Jake would marry because he waited, and I knew he would wait for this, to find his staff. Waited. And he did. And only Steph could match his wishes. And this is something he told us, that not only were his wishes that she'd be beautiful, inside and out, but so smart, deeply loving. I'm going to cry now. Huh? And, and full of kindness, full of kindness. Steph, I could fell, I fall apart in happiness at the way you and Jake laugh together, talk everything out. Amazing. And truly are the best friends and deeply, deeply love each other. We are so blessed to have you as our daughter in law and your family as our Makatunum. Lakayam. I'd like to invite up Bridesmaid. Um, hi, everybody. Um, I wanted to just start by taking a moment to love and admire our beautiful couple that we are here to celebrate. Um, Stephanie, beautiful as always, and Jake, handsome as ever. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Amy. Um, Stephanie and I have been best friends since probably we were five. Um, we have seen each other through a lot. 
we had the blue eyeshadow phase. Um, we had the ponytail on top of the head phase. <laughs> um, yes, I think every day in elementary and middle school, Stephanie would wear her hair on literally the top of her head, split perfectly in two. Um, thankfully, her style has evolved uh, since then, and look how beautiful she is. Um, there was also the tank top with a pencil skirt and Uggs phase, bodycon dress phase. Thankfully, we both made it out um, to be the, you know, arguably functioning adults that we are today. Um, and honestly, I was an absolute menace in high school. So I, I'm surprised she was able to put up with me um, for so long. Um, but in preparation for this speech, I was going through our memories. Um, and our memories are old pictures. And one thing that I just like, I loved about what we shared was our love for country music. Stephanie and I were Taylor Swift fans from day one. That first country music album came out and we were like, let's go. We went to Meriwether. We had cowboy boots, button down shirts and double braids. Again, our style has evolved. Um, but so it is no wonder that her first song, her and Jake's first song, was Taylor Swift. It is really just full circle and beautiful. Um, Stephanie, you are one of the most kind, caring, and compassionate people that I know. And I am so proud of the woman that you have become. Um, and I consider myself lucky to have been able to grow up next to you um, and you know, see you grow and flourish. There are few people our age who can say they've been friends for more than two decades. Um, and that's just a testament to how amazing of a person you are. Um, through the ups and downs, uh, you've always been there for me. Whenever that's celebrating our highs um, or getting each other through the lows, you're always the person I know that I can turn to. So on a lighter note, or maybe a darker one, it, it depends how you view the dating scene in DC. Um, <laughs> uh, Stephanie and I used to commiserate together about our dating lives. So I remember back in December of 2018, there was one date she was maybe considering canceling. She had a trip to New York. Um, it was n almost New Year's. Uh, she had to get ready, find a dress, you know, get everything packed. But you know what? He was just too darn cute <laughs> not to meet. And can anyone guess who that man was? <laughs> It was our lovely groom here. And despite his pictures holding a fish on. <laughs> um, yes, so our wonderful groom, Mr. Jake Greenhouse, was that man. Um, fish pictures are certainly not a deal breaker, um, but they are questionable. So, Jake, you are a lucky man. <laughs> um, obviously, they were the cutest couple from the start. Um, but I knew Jake was the one for Steph when she converted him from a dog person into a cat person. Um, this man loves Stephanie so much that he will do just about anything to make her happy, including agreeing to a life full of cats. There's a cat. Just <laughs> That and, um, he'll order McDonald's at least twice a week just so Stephanie can get her fix of um, the McFlurry and fries. When we were on the bachelorette trip, Jake tried not once, but twice. Um, the time difference made it a little difficult, um, but he tried desperately to get Stephanie her McFlurry and fries um, while we were on the bachelorette in Chicago. Um, so I um, please everyone raise your glass to our beautiful couple. I am, I don't have one, but I am wishing you a lifetime of love, happiness, and special moments like this. So here is to Stephanie and Jake, the future Mr. and Mrs. Cat Lady. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. So good. Uh, so everybody knows we're, we're celebrating three decades over here, Jake and I. So, um, <laughs> good evening, everyone. Uh, I feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to pay tribute to my good friends, Jake and Steph. 
For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jesse Tamaris, and I'm Jake's best man. <laughs> I'd like to first thank the parents of the bride and groom for the rehearsal dinner, the amazing night, Linda and Carrie, Allison and Rich. None of us would be here tonight if it weren't for you. And I'd also like to thank the CDC, Pfizer, and Binax Now, the at-home COVID test. Seriously, none of us would be here tonight if it weren't for them. <laughs> but all kidding aside, tonight we're here to celebrate a true once-in-a-lifetime love story. I think you all know what I mean. When you find your soul's counterpart in another, the person you call when you have good news or lean on when you have bad the one you're most comfortable sleeping next to, your partner in crime. You feel like you've known them forever and you can't imagine any part of your life without them. And Jake, I'm talking about you and me, baby. <laughs> you see, Jake was my first friend. My parents tell me he was waiting in the nursery for me to get home from the hospital after being born. What a guy, right? Rich and Allison really outdid themselves raising such a kind, hardworking kid that everyone just loves. And they did a pretty good job with Jake as well. <laughs> when we were three, I had to have a serious surgery and I guess uh, I was terrified. <clears throat> the evening before the procedure, Jake stayed the night distracting me so I wouldn't be afraid. I'm told we wore matching PJs, ate the same bed nights, bedtime snacks. And I knew from that moment on that Jake always had my back. And as we got older, our friendship grew stronger. Unfortunately, the matching PJs stopped, but the sleepovers continued. <laughs> Jake was absolutely the coolest guy I knew. He had better taste in music. He was always, always ahead of the trends. He liked Fall Out Boy, so I liked Fall Out Boy. We were skiing buddies, and then Jake started snowboarding. So sure enough, I started snowboarding the next year. I even went to the University of Michigan after years of hearing how great it was from him. WJ's class of 2006, biggest heartthrob. I mean, how could you not look up to him? Figuratively speaking, of course. <laughs> I like to think of us as a yin and yang of sorts. Jake is laid back and easygoing. Me, less so. Jake loves the outdoors, surfing at the beach with his hair blowing in the wind. Me, less so. I burn rather easily. <laughs> Jake loves cars. He loves to fix them up, drive them, and even total them. <laughs> Me, I'm more of a golf cart guy. Wait. No, that's Jake, too. <laughs> Jake loves to improvise, and it works for him. The kid has fallen ass backwards into so many good things, it's hard for me to count. Me, I'm a planner. Junior year of college, for example, we were planning to study abroad together. I pestered him and Zeke for months to no avail, trying to come up with a plan. And what do you know? I did my second semester in the sub-zero temps of Ann Arbor, while these two ended up in Barcelona. <laughs> Things just always work out for him. I mean, look at this amazing woman he just married. Steph, you look absolutely stunning tonight. In fact, let's all give it up for the new Mrs. Greenhouse, please. Allison, I have to agree with you. I, I was starting to get a bit concerned before he met Steph. <clears throat> but I remember the first time hearing the change in Jake's voice when he would talk about Steph. He told me about his plans to introduce her to his family. I did some quick math, and it all pointed to the same answer. She was the one, and I needed to meet her. I planned a getaway for Jake, Steph, my wife, and a few close friends in one of the most intimate luxury resort towns on the Eastern Seaboard, Dewey Beach. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And it was in Dewey where Steph and my wife bonded over taking the perfect Instagram photos of each other at Secrets. <laughs> and where I got to experience the fun, amazing woman that Jake fell in love with. A year later, we brought our daughter Georgia to the greenhouses for her first Shabbat. And Jake and Steph gave her this pink stuffed dog thingy. Um, which has now become her most prized possession. So much so that we have four backups in the closet at all times. Steph is incredibly kind, funny, and has really brought Jake out of his comfort zone. I mean, who doesn't love a photo montage of Jake sipping wine at a vineyard? <laughs> or rocking a gorgeous ponytail, petting a fluffy cat? <laughs> I'm so grateful you both found each other. It's a wish come true witnessing my best friend, the godfather of my child, the brother I never had, find the love and happiness he deserves. From the biggest heartthrob to Mr. Excuse me, to Mr. Husband of the Year, as Steph calls him. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Steph, I can promise you from a lifetime of experience, Jake has always been this way, a loyal, selfless trendsetter. He will always have your back. He will keep you from being afraid, even if it, wears, even if it means wearing matching PJs. And while liking Fallout Boy doesn't make him the coolest guy anymore, I know that things will always work out for you as long as you're with Jake. And with that, I'd like everybody to raise a glass Woo! to Jake and Steph. Woo! Oh. 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 You can't do both. A toast to a lifetime of happiness. Cheers. I love you both. We are beyond blessed and excited to have so many people that we truly care about and love in this room. And it means so much that you guys made the effort to come here because it's not a simple thing. And... We love you all, and I love the fact that I can look in the crowd and see every single face and have a relationship with that person, and it really makes us feel special. So thank you, and I hope the rest of the night is quite enjoyable. Now, the real thanks goes to my wife, <laughs> Stephanie Greenhouse. She has been working endlessly on a vision of her perfect wedding, and it truly came to life. Our perfect wedding. Our perfect wedding. She did an amazing job, and with the help of everyone here, really put this night together. And um, it's, it's unreal to see. It's surreal. I like to step back and just look at everyone and know... Um, every, everyone's here out of love, and it's, uh, it's beautiful. And um, so, Steph, thank you for putting this together and really spending so much time working on this. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I'm a little bit afraid of public speaking, but I will just say thank you to every single person in this room right now, our family, our friends, our loved ones, our vendors. All week, I have been texting them endlessly saying, it is going to rain, a hurricane is coming. Can we still make this party absolutely amazing? And they have done nothing but kept me calm, made everything run so smoothly, um, and just make this really the best day for us and everyone else that is here. Um, we do know that you guys have traveled near and far. Thank you all for, for coming despite the weather. Thank you guys for just loving us and supporting our relationship and this marriage. And um, we're just so grateful to have you all in our lives and hope that it will just continue to blossom after this day. But the final words I have to say is, let's party. What? Van is uh, stepping this, sitting this one out because uh, we're not speaking in Yiddish. All right. I'm not allowed to sing, according to Morgan.
Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, sher kedushanu b'mitzvotav, b'tzivanu l'hadlik ne'er shel Jake and Seth's wedding. Come on up, man, man. Okay. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this in, in honor of the coolest kid here, Van the Man. We give thanks to God for bread. Uh, Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech halom, hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Amen. Never met a microphone I didn't like. Thank you.
magic in our eyes, I wouldn't mind it. Now, every single night, you're my sunshine on the days where clouds come to play. Just you and I just wanna fly